Would you believe a few simple changes in your diet can drastically reduce your joint pain and arthritis? If you're so Forget fumbling for change at the vending machine. For some workers in Wisconsin, all they'd have to do is place their hand in front of a scanner to buy stuff. In a move that sounds like it was ripped from the Terminator films, Three Square Market wants to surgically implant microchips in its employees so they can buy snacks in the break room, open doors, or let them log onto a computer. Let's just hope it doesn't go haywire. But let's be clear, it's not mandatory. The company says about 50 people volunteered for the implant, which is about the size of a grain of rice. They also say they're the first in the U.S. to put microchips in their employees, but the technology has been used in Sweden since 2014, according to UPI. It uses the same kind of technology that allows your phone to make mobile payments. The company's CEO says the information is encrypted and secure. Critics say someone could theoretically get data about you, though. Your health, how many hours you're actually working, or if you're taking too many bathroom breaks. Basically, critics want to know who would be seeing that information. But I want to know what happens when you quit. I guess leaving it on your boss's desk is as good as any resignation letter. Okay, and uh, Salakia, right quick, um, that video you just got done watching, um, pretty much, you know, that was pretty much the Mark of the Beast uh, video that I uh, showed you, and um, you know, pretty much, if you take that mark of the beast, um, you surely is going to get this judgment right here. You know, uh, if you take this mark of the beast, you're pretty much going to eat this missile. Okay. But, uh, you know, um, this dollar is real close to being uh, uh, collapsed. You know, um, they're using this uh, COVID to cover up the collapse, really. Um, you know, and, and basically putting all these distractions out here to let you know that the dollar ain't really worth nothing, you know, uh, pretty much. But it, it is getting to the point now where everything is getting real tight out here. You know, you got over 60 something million people that done lost their jobs, unemployed, and you got people out here trying to look for jobs. And they really can't find anything. Okay. So we're pretty much uh, at the end of this. You know. And uh, Esau knows that he has a, a short time. So uh, let me get that right quick. Uh, no, Revelation 12 verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens. And ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. And of the sea. For the devil comes down unto you. Having great wrath because he normally that he had but a short time. And Khan, you know, he pretty much knows that uh, his, his world rulership is up. Um, so basically, he wants to force really hardcore slavery, okay? To force this uh, chip, okay? And that's pretty much what he was going to do. But the elect of the 144,000 and one third are not going to take that chip, you know? We'd rather take death than to take this chip any day. Okay? So, uh, let me go into uh, Revelation chapter uh, 13, verses uh, 16. And he chose of both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in, in their right hand or in their foreheads. Okay? Because... Uh, they want to either put it on your hand or they want to put it on your forehead, you know. Uh, and I also want to put it in people that's considered to be disabled. They want to put the, uh, you know, want to put it on them to say, hey, we healed these people that couldn't walk anymore, you know. And, you know, and you're going to have a lot of people, a lot of the masses is going to be fooled by that. 
Okay, that's the that's the uh, mark of the beast. We go to the next one, and that no man may buy or sell save he that have the mark or the number of the beast or the number of his name. Okay, read the next one. Uh, he, he it. He is wisdom. Let him that have understanding uh, call the number of the beast, for it is a man of of a man, and his number is six hundred three square and six. Okay, and that'll be the uh, sixty-six march will be the barco code, pretty much, um, because you know this devil. He wants to track every move, okay? Like he can track you with these phones, okay? But you know, knowing him, he's a devil. He's not satisfied, you know. So uh, he wants to uh, really put this mark of the beast in you uh, to pretty much own you, okay? But um, I just wanted to put this uh, lesson out that uh, you know the mark of the beast is coming. Um, you can't say that the prophets didn't warn you. Uh, mainly off of uh, GMS, okay? You know, GMS has been the ones, you know, from day in, day out, 365 days a year, because there are no days off, okay? So, you know, the truth is out here, okay? So, with that, I want to give all honors and glorious praises due to Yahweh, Bashim, Yah Shai, Bashim, and Kakadash. Uh, double honors to the and elders, a great millstone, peace to Akim, that's doing this word on the four corners of earth. Shalom. Shalom. And above, above.